good morning all. Well, it's not theoretically a good morning for me, because I had to waste another 40 minutes of my life. But, yeah, I'm here to talk about the Nintendo Digital Events, or press conference, whatever the hell they want to fucking call themselves. So anyway, let's get started. Nintendo, you have seven games coming out this year, and not one of them I give a shit about. <laughs> And you got six for planned for next year. And again, I'm only looking forward to one of them. Just one out of this whole event. So let's get started with what they, what they announced. We got Super Smash Brothers. That's going to be out in holiday 2014. Then you got the 3DS version. It's going to be out October 3rd, 2014. You have this little toy figure called Amiibo. That has a little chip inside. And when you put it on top of your... Wii pad is supposed to send information to the Wii pad as well as the pad sending information to it as well as supposedly enhancing your game and how you play it and stuff like that which is pretty nifty but if you gotta pay for it then I don't see the if you gotta pay for it by itself and I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be like a norm and a leg you no know, Nintendo it's not gonna sell um, then you got Yoshi's Wally World that comes out next year. I'm doing this quickly because I really don't have nothing to say about the, all the, any of these. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker that comes out this holiday. Simply titled The Legend of Zelda. It's probably going to be a reboot that's coming out next year. That world looks like almost like a Middle Earth type scenario. It looks interesting to say the least. And that's the first time I ever said that about a Zelda game. So... You got something going on good, Nintendo. Uh, then you got your two Pokemon games like we do every year. You got Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. They both come out on November 21st. 3DS, of course, or DS, whatever you want to call it. We got Haru Hyrule Warriors. I hope I'm saying that right. That comes out September 26th. We got Bayonetta 2, yeah, not to be confused with the Xbox 360 and PS3 version of Bayonetta 2, but, you know, that comes out this October. Um, we got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, that comes out in 2015. The one that, that, that interests me the most out of all of them is the one game I'm talking about, Xenoblade Chronicles X, that also comes out in 2015. That looks kind of good. That looks kind of good. Well, I buy a system for that. Maybe if the system go down in price. But other than that, no. <laughs> you got Mario Maker 2015, which you which you can actually create the stage as you play it, which is kind of awesome. You that big tall blue, I mean, a blue big tall green uh, pipe that usually you have to jump from that little pipe all the way up there. You can shrink it down if you want to. You can put like those little turtles you know, like in midair if you want to you can jump on them and get to where you gotta go that's interesting I like that but of course 2015 Splatoon which is a game a four player co-op game again 2015 you go around shooting people with uh, ink which almost from the color scheme looks like the Nickelodeon orange color because it was it looked just like that orange Nickelodeon color they also have blue in there too. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. And uh, I believe in the Super Smash Bros. 3DS version, you're gonna have Plut, Plut Paulantina, all night, all all lights. Whatever her name is, I think she's going to be included in that game. I thought it was a whole new game based around her, but they, they put the Super Smash Bros. on there, so it's probably going to be another character to play in that game. And that is the Nintendo Digital Event. I didn't stick around for that Treehouse bullcrap because that's some shit I don't give a fuck about. I nearly, nearly fell asleep again watching this. And I just woke up. Nintendo... For the love of God, please expand your party. Make stuff like you did for the Wii. Make stuff for the kids like you did with the stuff we have I just announced today. Make 
stuff for adults. Give us the teen rated, mature rated. It can be E rated too, but at least it'll be for adults. Give stuff for a variety of people to play, not just your kids. The kids. That way, you can stand a chance of making money and looking more relevant in this generation. Well, you're not even in this generation. You're still in the last generation. Yeah, you made it to this generation yet. <laughs> but seriously, in order for yourself to look good, to even be considered a top dog at E3 anymore, because now when people say E3, all we see is Sony and Microsoft. You're just a little pebble on a big rock. You know what I mean? Make others count. Stop going for the core audience. Expand. Take your gamer seriously. We want a game too. We, I would love to have a Wii U at my house again. Not again, but you know, I had the first Wii. I got the first Wii because you had content I wanted to play. You had your, what was that game called? The, your That black and white game that was mature rated. You had that game. That was bloody, comic-y, and violent. And I loved it. Okay, that was awesome. You had other mature rated shit. I only bought mature rated stuff. If it came, if it came out with a teen rated, then I would get it too. As long as it was an adult-based game. I had stuff to play on the Wii. What's the play on the Wii U? That you announced. That I can play. That I would want to play. Nothing. Let me know what you guys think about the press event down below. I'm going to give this press event a D. Because I like Xeno, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Because that trailer interests me. It was mainly, mainly, mainly trailers. You had some gameplay, but you really couldn't tell which ones because it was kind of going real quick. So you blink and you missed the title and the release date. I had to pause it and go back several times just to write the damn release dates down because I was still writing down the fucking title of the games. They were zooming by. I'm out. This will be the last time I'm covering Nintendo at E3. I'm not doing it again next year. I'm just going to cover Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, and Sony. I'm not going to waste no more time than that. Because those, those are the four companies that matter right now. Sorry, Nintendo. You're just not relevant anymore. And you keep proving that point.